Uh, hello. Now, this is part one. I'm going to do a quick video to show a tour of my RV. Uh, this is the outside. Um, part two will be the inside. Uh, this is 1996 Coachman 28 foot. In general, you know, did a lot of a lot of cleaning up. It was the one of the main things was just uh, getting this thing washed and some wax on it. Um, start from this corner. We'll go around, I guess, anti-clockwise, and um, I put that light up there. And it's always running off of solar. Uh, replace these door handles. It's pretty simple. And these little. Oops. These little handles work work really good on the inside also. Um, oh yeah, and I replaced. You know these these are simple to replace, and uh, spruce it up nice. Same with these are replaced. Uh, replace the treads on here. Got these are actually glow in the dark. You know got the uh, TPS system installed. Um, Let's see, this is the, the RV heater, main propane heater. And um, this is actually one of the first mechanical failures of the, uh, of the RV. But anyway, this, um, the squirrel cage fan in here has a motor that the bearing went up on it. So just replaced that one part of it. Now the whole um, you know, heater works great. Um, and it was a little tricky getting it in there. I had to take quite a bit of this off, but, um, you know, it worked out well and, uh, actually don't use it, um, very much, but it's, it's, it's ready. So I've taken off, I've taken off this, these stairs to paint them and, um, and I painted inside there. So the steps are not going to go back on. I don't use this front door. I only use the back door. Um, so my office is in here. You'll see that on the next video. Let's see the uh, awning. So it's the same awning. Um, cleaned it up. Um, I'll show you some damage that I had to uh, replace when we get up on top. I've had... Okay, so this kind of gets to... Um, why this RV was so cheap. This whole front wall was had extreme water damage. Um, all of the wood in it was totally rotten. Um, I'll try to show some pictures of of the construction and um, all of this that you see here, all this paneling, this was and the door. I, I took it all all off. And, um, and rebuilt that. And I just used um, flashing instead of trying to get that molding back on there. Um, it's, well, it works. Okay, out front here, we have the two 30-pound uh, tanks that came with the RV. When I got it, they were 13 years old, so that's one year out of date. Um, I just got them recertified, eight bucks a piece. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, one thing that I did earlier on um, is I replaced this, uh, the distribution tee, and um, what was happening with the old one is pretty cruddy. Uh, the tank selector uh, wasn't uh, working very well um, because. If you had it pointed, if I had it pointed to one tank and that one went empty, it, it wasn't automatically switching over to the tank that had propane in it, um, and um, and also the uh, the pigtails had to replace them. They're old style. They didn't have one-way valve in them. Um, they would actually leak from the tank with propane over to the empty tank um, very slowly. Um, Kind of annoyed me. So, but yeah, I changed this out. It was a lot easier than what I thought it would be. And I'm um, happy that I did that. And 
I uh, also painted the, uh, the tongue of the frame here, spruced it up. And here, I don't know if you can see, I added a um, circuit breaker, 150 amp circuit breaker. Let's see. Yeah, I got the rock guard up there. I, I painted that, um, spruced it up a little bit. Had a lot of trouble with this front window leaking. Um, and uh, but it's uh, it's doing pretty good. I still have a little bit to fix on that rock guard over there. Um, okay, so we got this. this is the one slide out, it's a nice size, um, 13 feet here on the outside, long slide out, um, three and a half, three feet deep. Um, you kind of see that I don't. I don't bring it all the way out. There's really no, no reason to. Um, I left the slide out in about five inches and because it gives a nice uh, shelf on the top. I'll show you that in the next video. Um, let's see. One thing that I haven't fixed yet is this wall here. I don't know if this will show up on camera, but that's, there's nothing behind that. Um, like this is solid over here. Um, the rest of it's solid, but I'll end up. But all, all this behind here is still rotten. I gotta rebuild this wall. Like I said this is December. I'll probably do that in the spring. Uh, I've replaced all of the um, locks. These locks were corroded and uh, didn't work very well. So I've uh, got a set of four, and I replaced all the locks. They all have the same key. Um, let's see, propane, um, all right, and I, um, uh, you know, this is, you know, 1996 was one of the first years, you know, that they had slide outs on RVs. Um, I asked the guy, he said 1994 was the first, eh, you know, I don't know, but, you know, they sure didn't have, um, slide out awnings, uh, but I took old the old awning and um, cut it down and then so I used that as the slide out awning and um, it is a lot better than having no awning at all attached it um, with these clips here and the uh, D flappers um, keep it nice and tight and it doesn't flap around too much in the wind all right here's the water heater this is one of the other mechanical failures, um, minor thing, took a while to actually fix it, but this replaced this uh, propane valve. Uh, this water heater, it's an Atwood, um, it uses, you know, spark ignition. Um, and the problem was, um, when it would turn off, it would actually keep a, uh, a little flame in here, kind of like a pilot light. And I've seen in forums, you know, people ask, is it supposed to be a pilot light there? And nope, not supposed to be a pilot light on this type. Um, so the old valve was leaking. And um, you can kind of see up here, I haven't fixed this yet, but it's actually burned through, um, or not through yet, but damaged these wires, melted these wires a little bit, so I'll get them um, replaced, but I don't have the uh, the flame coming out of uh, this here anymore. So I'll show you this from the outside. Okay, all right, here's inside here with all the water. Um, I haven't seen on this RV yet where the little uh, RV uh, diaphragm tank is. It didn't really seem to have one. Um, it might be underneath the floor, but I added these two uh, diaphragm tanks. Um, this is you know when you're operating off of your um, uh, water pump, um, and it helps when when I'm running off the hose. Um, Directly off the hose, also. Uh, but this this first one is a 2.2 .2 
cubic foot uh, diaphragm tank and it wasn't quite enough and so I've stuck in uh, the one in the back there that's a 6.6 .6. and um, that so both of them working together is really nice you can they'll um, keep the uh, the pump from you know turning on turn off turn on turn off every time you use the faucet um, added a 12 volt outlet there you can never have enough of those um, added this uh, rack right here this rack up here this is just a garage uh, type of a rack from Lowe's and um, these are removable, you know, so I'm going down the road, take these off. So set that up there. Let's put that um, put this hose in there, and then just turn her on, and then it will let itself uh, run out. You got the little. There's one thing interesting thing that I haven't seen much on the internet um, on YouTube. Are these. See, main, main tags. If you um, haven't heard about the main tag uh, loophole <laughs> for trailers, um, you might want to look into it. If you're and you got yourself, um, you know, a trailer like this, and you know you got to have it get inspected and all that sort of thing. Okay, I added this um, toolbox back here. Um, you know, of course, I just super, I really like this a lot. Um, and it's on there really well. And then this, this back also needed to be rebuilt. Not as much as the front. The front needed to be, the front wall needed to be rebuilt from the ceiling all the way down to the floor, including the floor and including the ceiling where this back um, was mainly that far corner was rotted out and, um, uh, so I had, you know, this whole lower half um, taken off. I'm going to go up on the roof and give you a pick, give you a shot of the um, solar. Okay, we're up here. Um, <clears throat> roof, just uh, get a little starter solar panel or solar power system going. 330 watts, uh, just for trying it out. Definitely want to um, get closer to like 1.2 kilowatts. And I had a uh, had a hail storm and it tore up the main on in quite a bit and uh, very much patched that all up with uh, Eterna Bond, best stuff ever. So that'll work for now. Get me so I don't have to worry about replacing that awning at least for another year or so. Got plenty of other things to worry about. Okay, um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hey, Jimmy, if you're watching. <laughs> and um, so keep an eye out for the part two. That'll be the inside. There's a lot more interesting things in there and a lot more things in there in general uh, that I changed around quite a bit in there. So um, anyway, y'all have a good day and um, take care.